What's going on guys, G2 here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we have another review on some of the equipment that I use for my videos and my vlogging and my outdoor uh, stuff that we've got going on here on the channel. And one of the things that has made my life so, so much easier is using a mount for my GoPro. So the GoPro comes with a standard mount and it is good but it also has its limitations in terms of accessories and things that you'd like to add. So what I originally got a couple months ago, I would say, was this Ulanzi V2 shell for the GoPro. And it works really easy. It, you know, it just opens up here. You can slide your GoPro in and close it up. everything fits in there nice and tight. The one thing that I really liked about this is because I do audio and particularly use wireless mics. And in order to do that, I need to have this adapter. And before with other cases, when you use this adapter, it just kind of flimsy, just hangs along here and really kind of gets in the way and it can start knocking and disrupt your audio. This has a sleeve, if you guys can see right there, this sleeve will actually house that adapter so that it can easily fit everything in there. And on top of that, it has a cold shoe mount here at the top. So if I wanted to put my wireless receiver here, clip that right to the top, and I've got my whole setup right here. Amazing. You think it's going to get better. It's going to get better. So. I just stumbled upon the V3. That was the V2. So the V3 has all of the same features as the V2, and we add a couple extra. So one, it's an aluminum housing. Really nice milled aluminum housing here. Now they've added a couple things. You can see here on the V2, the sleeve for that receiver, uh, the GoPro transmitter, is on the bottom. On this one, they've moved it to the top. And what this does is it allows you to still access your button here. Let's throw that GoPro in here and show you what I'm talking about. So your GoPro just easily and nicely sits right in here. You're going to close it down on the top. Nice positive click here. And then now we've got our access. We can still hit our power button here. We can still hit our mode button. We have access to all of those. They're not, they're not blocked in any way. And what's even better about this is when we're using our transmitter, they've created this little kind of bump out right here. And what that does is it really helps to support that clip. So if you inadvertently bump it, you're not going to worry about damaging the, uh, the USB-C part of that, which is really awesome. And on top of this, like we could get any better, they have an additional cold shoe mount here. So if I wanted to add, let's say, my receiver, right? So I want to add my receiver for my wireless mic. I can slip that on top. And then I still have one on the side. So let's say I wanted to add on a light. We're going to do some low light shooting. I can add on the light to that shoe mount, and I've got the whole setup right here. The bottom is your standard GoPro mount, which you can change to anything. So you want to set it up to a tripod, a um, selfie stick, you can do all of that stuff, but everything is in this nice little setup and it's aluminum so it's sturdy. It's a little bit heavier than obviously the plastic, but this thing looks absolutely stunning, I have to say, and everything works great. Even with all of this stuff on here, I can still access the power button and I can still access the mode. So 
So all of that is still in there and you can easily get all of that stuff with no problem. So really, really great. This is the V3 from Ulanzi. And the V2, I'm not going to knock this because this is my secondary. This is my backup if I'm doing two cameras. So this one is great as well. But that additional shoe mount is what I really, really like about this one. And I like the fact that it has that support, especially for if you're using the, uh, the GoPro adapter. If you're not using the GoPro adapter, no problem. Let's say you have an older version GoPro which uses the three and a half millimeter jack, you can just as easily pop this guy off and then go to a really nice low profile thing here. And then you have an additional cold shoe mount here at the top. So you can always use that for a camera or another device that you want to use. It'll fit in there. No problem. Okay. Piece of cake. So you have that option as well. You're not losing a mount just because you decided to not have it for this. So I thought it was really well thought out. That This is a great little option for those people who are getting into it or you want something that's nice and durable uh, for your vlogging, for your videos or whatever. If you're getting into it, I would suggest looking into it. The price is not terrible I want to say it was about 20 bucks for this this one was maybe 21 and 26 something like that but for the upgraded model the extra five bucks so so worth it so let me know what you think comments below have you tried this have you had tried Ulanzi I just kind of got stumbled upon their stuff and I've been using a couple of their products the mounts obviously the uh, light here which for a little package is really, really impressive. So make sure to check out that video too. I'm gonna to leave you guys with that. Until next time, make sure that you're practicing safe weapons handling at all times and treating every weapon as if it was loaded. God bless America. G2L.